In this exercise, we'll be implementing each one of the processing callbacks. So when a did start document comes, that means the data which we have passed to the XML parser, it's a valid XML and you can initialize all your variable which you are need for your processing. So I'll say flag equal to false initially and I'll say captured string equal to double quote. So I have initialized all both my variables to the idle position. Now by default, I'm not concerned with all the XML tags. I'm concerned only with the tags, tip description, username and user email. So whenever the start tag of this three, whenever this three start tags appears, I'll make flag true. And for remaining, I'll say flag to be false. So in my did start element, I'll say flag false. And also I'll make sure that capture string is reset to the blank string. Now I'll start comparing if element name is equal to equal to say tip description. So I'll copy the tag value without the angle bracket because it's understood that element start element when the element name comes it is a tag. Similarly I'll have the so when an element start tag of tip description comes I'll make sure that my flag is turned to true. Similarly I'll have else if for another two tags called username and user email. So I'll go, I'll copy the username and user email tag. So all these three, for only these three tags, my flag will be true, else my flag will be false. In found characters, this will get called as an as the so this will call whenever your flag is true. Now this will call get called whenever the parser starts reading some characters. So we need to capture only the characters when flag is true. So I'll say capture string and append that characters to your capture string. So string is an internal parameter which you are getting. So those characters will be append to your capture string. Now whatever tags we are used in start element the same tags are needed in your end element. So when an end element comes, you will make sure your flag is set back to the false and will print each of the tag. So I'll say tip description is, so now the tip description capture string contains the tip description. Capture string in this condition contains username and Capture string in this condition contains the user email. Now what we'll do, we'll run this X program project again and we'll find the output and it will show only the needed data whereas we'll remove all the unwanted tags and text. So I'll run the project on the iPhone 4S simulator. I'll click and see. It only contains the needed data. Rest everything is removed. So I have successfully completed step 2.2. So we have successfully processed the data. In next exercise, we'll see step 3, which is an optional step, which states create a container.